Good morning, Boston Rea. Actually, good afternoon, Boston Rea folks. Um, I wanted to talk a couple, little bit today about um, activity. I've been uh, given a 30-day challenge, so it's in another business, but I figured I might as well carry it over to the Boston Area Real Estate Investors Association and give some good tips. Um, now, I wanted to make sure that I let people know that uh, consistency is really going to be the success in anyone's real estate investing business. You have to be consistent and you have to set activities that you're going to do um, every single week towards your real estate investing business, whether you're um, going to be rehabbing properties, doing wholesaling. It doesn't really matter what you're going to do. Um, really, what matters is that you stay consistent with it. So one of the things that is really important to do is to continually network um, get out and about and network there's so many different opportunities we have one coming up on Thursday night at the Boston Rhea meeting um, kind of excited about that we've got both Peter and we've got Matt McLaughlin that are coming to that meeting um, in Medford but uh, make sure you get out there and you network there's so many different networking opportunities um, if you're trying to find a networking opportunity and can't seem to find one, go on meetup.com. They have um, a whole slew of networking opportunities listed. Um, when you're out and about and you're networking with people, make sure you let them know that you're a real estate investor and that if they bring you a deal and the deal closes, you'll give them a referral fee, maybe $1,000 or something like that. You'd be amazed at how many people actually will... Um, will will bring you deals if you're bringing if you're going to give them a thousand dollars when the deal closes so make sure you do that um, you would definitely want to do some direct mail marketing campaigns to get your phone ringing there's a lot of different list brokers I have um, a system that I use if you're interested in using that system it's called real flow just um, ask me about it because they've uh, cooked up a really sweet deal for the Boston Area Real Estate Investors Association folks. Um, you can put out bandit signs on a personal level. I'm not a big fan of bandit signs, but that's because I'm not going to go out there and, uh, and hang them up. But they are effective. They do work. Um, so if the sign says, you know, we buy ugly houses, well, you can't use that because that's an actual company. Um, Homevestors uses that tagline, but um, I buy houses for cash or something like that. Um, and you put a telephone number. A lot of people, sometimes people put uh, 800 numbers on there. You shouldn't use 800 numbers. You should use a local telephone number, even if, you know, and it's important to get a tracked phone line when you're using those bandit signs because you can get a couple of different tracked phone lines um, and have a different number on each sign and that way you know which location the bandit signs are actually producing so um, it, it's, it gives you the ability to track everything um, it, there's a, a lot of different ways that you can you know that you can generate leads you can do online marketing um, so there's there's a lot of different ways that people can can you know continuously keep um, leads coming into their business you know um, so my favorite is networking when I'm out and about the Dunkin Donuts lady knows that I do real estate investing um, when I'm you know going to I go to BNI um, my BNI people know that I'm always looking for real estate investing deals and that I do real estate investing um, <clears throat> and I'll also look for them so <clears throat> Really, it's important to get out there, um, but choose like three to four. I really recommend three different ways to market and create your leads that are coming in. Um, focus on those and uh, be consistent with them. Don't just send out one direct mail campaign. Send out a direct mail campaign every week. Set yourself a budget and you know send letters out, whether you're personally penning them or whether... Um, you're using a system like I use that looks like I'm personally penning them, but I'm really not, um, then, you know, just do it consistently. Because if you're consistent, 
before you know it, you're gonna have you're gonna have deals coming in, deal flow coming in. Um, and let your friends and family know. Hey, hey, you know, if you hear of anybody who's looking for, you know, who's looking to sell their property and maybe it needs some work or something like that, let me know. If it turns out to be a deal and we close on it, then I'll give you a thousand dollar referral fee. Um, people start listening in a different way when they know that they're going to be compensated so that's a good thing make sure you get a website set up make sure you blog make sure you maybe do something like I'm doing right now um, start doing Facebook live that seems to be the big thing um, you know put some bandit signs out there if you want to do direct mail so pick three things focus on those things no less than 90 days and be consistent with it and if it works then um, you know you can figure out what's working for you what's not working for you and uh, then you can focus on what's working for you and maybe try something else so that's uh, what I got for you today. I just wanted it to be a quick short tip and I'm going to start doing these on a daily basis because uh, I figure if I'm going to do a 30 day challenge for my other company then I'm going to do a 30 day challenge for Boston Rhea as well and um, I'll be bringing you tips every single day. So um, I look forward to seeing you um, the next time. Keep smiling everybody. Uh, the world needs more of that. Um, make sure that you get to the Boston Area Real Estate Investors Association Association meeting on Thursday night. Networking is from 5.30 to 6.30 and then we start the meeting at 6.30. We've got Peter and Matt McLaughlin. They're going to talk about hard money and they're going to talk about large-scale developments, um, how to use hard money in your real estate investing business, how to make the jump from um, doing small scale properties to large scale properties. Um, we are at the AC Marriott in Medford. It's off 95 Station Landing. So come bring lots of business cards, guys, because people never bring enough. And I see people walking around going, I don't have any more. So, you know, we typically get between 60 and 90 people at the meetings. It's really topic driven as to how many people show up. Um, but, you know, make sure that you you know make sure that you um, that you bring lots of business cards and I look forward to seeing you there.